that is my one of the most important questions I ask people when they're trying to make a financial decision. I'm like, which one makes you giggle? I often talk about the fact that money is energy and that may seem a little esoteric to some people. Well, if you remember the formula from Einstein, E equals MC squared, remember that? Well, that just means that everything in the world is energy. This shirt that I'm wearing is energy. I as a human being in an energy body. The flowers, the flooring, the grass, the trees, money. It's all energy. So what every, uh, even disease is energy. Our physical bodies, you may not know this, but cancer vibrates at 44 megahertz. Diabetes vibrates at 52 megahertz. Well, whatever financial vibration you have, that's the frequency that you are vibrating at. So you can only get as much money at that frequency or create that much money because of your vibration. Now, what is your energy vibration? Well, your emotions are energy in motion. So this is why I wrote my first book, The Emotion Behind Money. So if you haven't read that yet and you're asking this question, go get my Emotion Behind Money book. Go get my Emotion Behind Money workbook and work through your emotions behind money because this is going to be where you start to see money as energy and it's all being dictated by your emotions. So let's just say you have a really crappy job that you don't like. It might be a great job when you got it 10 years ago or five years ago, but today it's not serving who you are. And you don't like your boss and you're not getting the pay raises and blah, 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 whatever, whatever reality that is, right? What's your energy? What are your emotions? Like it's contracting, it's like Whereas if you loved your job and you had all these opportunities, you're going on adventures, you were traveling and you had the freedom to work from home and it totally fed your heart and your soul. What's your vibration there? You're like, ah! like you're flying all over the damn place, right? It's like you're having gratitude and you're thankful and you're rocking and rolling, you're happy, your soul is being fed. That is why one of the most important questions I ask people when they're trying to make a financial decision, I'm like, which one makes you giggle? And they go, what? Well, which one's the smart one? Mm -mm 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 -mm. The biggest magnet in the universe is what? Do you know what that is? It's the human heart. The human heart. And if you don't believe me, go to heartmath.org because they've done all the research and science because on 9-11, they realized why is the magnetic force of the earth going 4.1 times its normal rating? It was because the human heart around the globe was heartfelt for what was going on in New York City at that time. So they realized that the human heart is the biggest magnet. It goes up to over eight miles and they can't even measure it longer than that. And they know that it ripples farther than eight miles. So if your heart is tied to your emotions and your emotions are in the toilet and contracting, guess what's happening to your money? You're not getting the pay raises. You're not getting the promotions. You're not going to uh, get good interest rates on things. You are contracting because your emotions are all vibrating down here. If you're struggling and you're in scarcity, I don't care what your reality is, you can still choose to be happy and find the good in whatever's going on in your life. But if you love your job, you love what you're doing, your soul is being fed, you're aligned with yourself and you're not playing anyone else's game but your own, guess what? You're getting the pay raises, you're getting the opportunities, Everything is tied to your heart and your emotions. And that's why money is energy because the money is just the result of all of those other components because your emotions are energy in motion and the money comes depending on what your emotional state is. Do you want to experience free coaching based on my 25 plus years as being a financial planner and ask me any question that you want to ask me to help you get past that hurdle in your financial world? I run these free workshops every other month to start to open you up to start to help you get to this next place. The information for my free workshop, click the link below and register and I'll see you on the next workshop.